Hi, I'm Erin Calvert. I'm 21 and I'm in my final year of silversmithing and jewellery at Ulster University Belfast campus. I'm here to give you some Christmas crafts you're able to do at home. Pom pom garland. So I have loads of pink ones of these in my room. You can make these all year round, but today we're making them in Christmas colours. To hang on the tree or hang on the wall or give to your neighbours, whatever you like. So once you have all your equipment gathered, um, we're gonna start with the pom pom garland. So just choose your colour of wool that you're gonna start with. And I cut a piece off that's just about the length of my hand. It's just roughly. And you take your two index fingers and just put the string through it. So just that, say like that. Then you take the end of your wool and hold it. I usually hold it around my knuckles and you just wrap it around and just keeping this one out of the way so it doesn't get tangled and you just wrap it around and that's you just keep going until it's sort of big enough i like to make mine quite big because that's what makes them nice and big and fluffy like the bigger you make them the more round and fluffy they're going to be so i just keep going until it looks quite fat so you can see it getting bigger And it's such a quick activity, like it really doesn't take you long at all to make quite a lot of these and anyone can do them. So yeah, and that's probably enough. So I don't know if you can see quite how fat mine is, but you can adjust it yourself. So that's sort of with the size I do mine too. And then this bit of string that you've kept here, you're going to pull it round. So it's like this and try and tie a knot in it. And you can just use your teeth. Just to pull it nice and tight. And then you just snip the end of the wool off from your ball of wool. And you just try to slide those off your fingers. Just try and keep it nice and tight. And then once it's off, I just tighten it up. It looks a bit like that and then tie a knot in it, as tight as you can. But your wool can snap really easily if you pull it too tight, so just be careful. So it should look like that. Mm -hmm. And then this is my favorite part. I just hold it by the two pieces of string you've tied together and you just snip all around the loops. So it'll start to puff out. So again, you just get the loop and snip it. And you can take your time, I'm just doing this a wee bit quickly. For the sake of it, but that's what'll happen. So it'll come out quite nice and big and fluffy. And then you can just go around it and just sort of squish it together and just trim it. So it comes out really nice and round. Or if you want it more regular, you can just keep it as is. But I'm just gonna trim mine up a bit. So when it's done, it should look something like this. And it should still have the two long strings from where you were tying it in the first place. Um, and that's how you're gonna get it onto your big string of pom-poms. So you get the end of the string and you basically just tie a knot with the two pieces of string from the pom-pom. And I like to do just a double knot, just to keep it on. Alright, so then you can just snip those off. So it's down to the same height and... And then I've just gone in between red and green, but you could do red, green and white, whatever colours you want really. And that's it, you can make it as long as you want and just you can hang it. 